300 tons of thrust, chamber pressure pushing the limits of known materials science, a power-to-weight ratio that defies conventional rocket engineering. SpaceX has just unveiled its next-generation Raptor 4 engine, and the aerospace world is stunned. This isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a quantum leap that rewrites what we thought possible in rocket propulsion. When Elon Musk announced these specifications, even veteran aerospace engineers were left speechless. The Raptor 4 doesn't just outperform its predecessor, it demolishes the competition across the industry. How significant is this advancement? The Raptor 4's 300 tons of thrust out muscles Blue Origin's BE4 by 20%, and NASA's RS-25 by an astonishing 59%. When combined in Starship's configuration, a cluster of these engines will generate 10,000 tons of thrust, nearly triple what powered humanity to the moon during the Apollo era. But perhaps most remarkable is what this means for our interplanetary future. This isn't just about bigger numbers. It's about making Mars missions economically viable. It's about transforming humanity into a multi-planetary species. Today on Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're breaking down the engineering marvel that is the Raptor 4, exploring how SpaceX achieved this breakthrough, and examining what it means for the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. To truly appreciate what SpaceX has accomplished with Raptor 4, we need to understand its lineage. The Raptor engine isn't just a single product, it's an entire family of propulsion systems that has evolved dramatically over time. When SpaceX first unveiled the original Raptor, it was already revolutionary. Unlike traditional rocket engines that discard excess fuel as waste, Raptor employed a full-flow stage combustion cycle, a design so complex that aerospace engineers had theorized about it for decades. But no one had successfully implemented it at scale. The numbers tell the story. Raptor 1 generated 185 tons of thrust, Raptor 2 jumped to 230 tons. Raptor 3 pushed even further to 269 tons. And now Raptor 4 breaks the 300-ton barrier, a 62% increase from the original design in just a few years. But raw thrust is only part of the equation. The chamber pressure, essentially how hard the engine squeezes its fuel before ignition, has skyrocketed from 300 bar in Raptor 2 to an anticipated 350 plus bar in Raptor 4. For context, Blue Origin's B4 manages only 140 bar, while NASA's RS-25 reaches just 246 bar. Material science at the breaking point. There's a reason no one has built engines like this before. The materials simply couldn't handle it. Elon Musk wasn't exaggerating when he tweeted that the Raptor operates close to the ragged edge of physics. Inside a Raptor engine, Temperatures exceed 3,300 degrees Celsius, hot enough to vaporize most metals instantly. Pressure surges to levels that would crush submarine hulls. The turbo pumps spin at speeds that would tear conventional metals apart from centrifugal force alone. SpaceX engineers have had to pioneer new metallurgical techniques and alloys just to contain these forces. They've developed specialized cooling channels that circulate cryogenic methane just millimeters away from combustion temperatures that could melt the engine walls. The tolerances are so precise that even microscopic manufacturing defects can lead to catastrophic failure. During early testing, engineers would sometimes arrive at test sites to find engines that had quite literally melted themselves apart, leaving only twisted remnants of what had been cutting-edge technology hours before. The economics of innovation. Perhaps most impressive is how SpaceX has managed to make these engineering marvels economically viable. In 2019, each Raptor 1 prototype cost over $2 million to produce, roughly $111,000 per ton of thrust. For perspective, if that cost structure remained unchanged, each Raptor 4 would cost about $33 million, making Starship launches financially impossible. But SpaceX had a plan. Musk introduced what engineers jokingly call the idiot index, the ratio between a component's total cost and its raw materials cost. Any part with a high ratio became a target for redesign or manufacturing optimization. The results speak for themselves. By eliminating complex plumbing and torch igniter systems while improving manufacturing processes, SpaceX reduced production costs dramatically. 
The target? $11,000 per ton of thrust, a staggering 90% reduction. Production speed increased just as dramatically. It took SpaceX 36 months to build the first 100 Raptor 1 engines. In contrast, they produced 200 Raptor 2 engines in just 11 to 12 months. By October 2022, NASA officials confirmed SpaceX had achieved a production rate of one Raptor 2 engine per day for a full week. This matters because Starship isn't just hungry for power, it's hungry for engines. Each Starship upper stage requires six to nine Raptors, while the Super Heavy booster needs a staggering 33. At the current deployment rate, SpaceX needs to manufacture approximately 250 to 300 engines annually just to support their launch cadence. The symphony of power and the danger of discord. When 33 Raptor engines ignite simultaneously on a super heavy booster, they create a symphony of controlled chaos, generating more thrust than anything humans have ever built. But that symphony requires perfect harmony. We saw what happens when that harmony breaks down during the April 2020 test flight. Just one component failure led to a catastrophic loss of control, resulting in a massive debris field that stretched for kilometers. Even more recently, in January 2025, Ship 33 experienced a propellant leak near the aft flap motor port during ascent. As the upper stage crossed above the Atlantic Ocean, what began as a small fire triggered engine cutouts, culminating in a mid-air explosion. The incident forced commercial airline flights to alter course to avoid potential debris. This is the reality of pushing engineering boundaries. Every advance comes with risk. The FAA requires comprehensive mishap investigations after each incident, approving the final reports before allowing SpaceX to continue testing. The reusability challenge creating a rocket engine that works once is difficult. Creating one that works repeatedly is exponentially harder. Yet reusability is central to SpaceX's mission of making space travel affordable. Traditional rocket engines like those on the Space Shuttle's SLS bleed off fuel and oxidizer to power their turbo pumps, creating the characteristic fuel-rich exhaust plume we see during launches. This inefficiency is acceptable for single-use engines, but reusable engines demand more advanced solutions. Raptor's closed cycle design achieves greater efficiency, but pushes turbine temperatures even higher. The engine bell must withstand extreme heat cycles without warping or failing. Seals must prevent hot gas from escaping where it shouldn't. Ignition systems must restart reliably in space. SpaceX engineers spend countless hours analyzing telemetry data from each test flight, identifying components that show early signs of wear or stress. This data drives continuous refinement, extending the operational life of each engine. The road ahead. Despite the January 2025 setback, SpaceX's track record suggests they'll overcome these challenges. We've seen this movie before. Years before Raptor, SpaceX faced similarly daunting obstacles with the Merlin engine during Falcon 1's development from 2004 to 2009. Many wrote off the company after multiple launch failures. Today, the Falcon 9 and its Merlin engines are the workhorses of the commercial space industry responsible for launching the majority of the world's satellite mass into orbit. The next Starship test represents a critical juncture. Each flight provides invaluable data that informs the development path for future Raptor iterations. Engineers are already conceptualizing improvements that could push thrust even higher while further reducing mass and manufacturing complexity. But the significance extends far beyond technical specifications. This propulsion system is the foundation of SpaceX's vision for deep space exploration and establishing sustained human presence on other worlds. When the Mars Colonial Transporter was first announced in 2016, many dismissed it as science fiction. Now, with each Raptor test firing, that fiction edges closer to reality. The economics are shifting from impossible to challenging to achievable. A Starship equipped with Raptor 4 engines could deliver over 100 tons of cargo to Mars during each transfer window, enough to establish and sustain the beginnings of a permanent human settlement. What once seemed like a far-fetched dream now has a clear engineering pathway. The Raptor 4 engine isn't just a technological achievement, it's the key that unlocks humanity's multiplanetary future. With each iteration, SpaceX doesn't just improve performance, they redefine what's possible. This is engineering with purpose.
The extreme thrust to weight ratio, the revolutionary chamber pressure, the production innovations, they all serve a greater mission. When Elon Musk talks about making life multiplanetary, the Raptor engine is what transforms those words from dreams into blueprints. As we've seen throughout SpaceX's history, setbacks are inevitable when pushing boundaries this aggressively. The January 2025 incident is just another data point in the journey, a temporary pause, not a roadblock. The next Starship flight will incorporate lessons learned from every previous test. Each launch brings us closer to regular orbital flights and eventually the first human footprints on Martian soil. What seemed like science fiction just years ago now has concrete engineering pathways. The question is no longer if we'll reach Mars, but when and how we'll thrive once we're there. If you found this deep dive into Raptor's technology fascinating, help us reach more space enthusiasts by hitting that like button and sharing this video. Drop a comment with your thoughts on Raptor 4's capabilities. How soon do you think we'll see humans on Mars with this technology? Make sure you're subscribed to Elon Musk 24 hours and have notifications turned on for all our future SpaceX updates and deep dives into cutting edge space technology. Until next time, keep looking up. The future is getting closer every day. In the high stakes arena of private space exploration, one name has dominated headlines for years, SpaceX. With their groundbreaking achievements and revolutionary approach to spacecraft design, Elon Musk's company has essentially rewritten the rulebook on what's possible in space travel. But the cosmos is vast, and no single company can claim ownership of the stars. Enter Rocket Lab, the underdog that refuses to be overshadowed. While they've already proven themselves as the premier player in small-scale rocket launches with their Electron vehicle, CEO Peter Beck has set his sights on something far more ambitious. This is Neutron, Rocket Lab's answer to the Falcon 9 and their boldest challenge to SpaceX's market dominance. With its sleek black carbon composite frame and innovative clamshell design, Neutron isn't just another rocket, it's a statement of intent. What makes this spacecraft truly revolutionary is its approach to reusability. Unlike conventional rockets that discard components during flight, Neutron features a captive fairing system that remains attached throughout the entire journey, protecting its second stage like a shield while significantly reducing costs and environmental impact. Powered by nine cutting-edge Archimedes engines and constructed using the world's largest 3D printer, Neutron promises to deliver payloads to orbit with unprecedented efficiency. But perhaps most impressively, this rocket is designed from the ground up for rapid redeployment, a critical advantage in the increasingly competitive space launch market. With its first flight scheduled for 2025 and contracts already signed with commercial satellite operators, Rocket Lab is positioning Neutron to not